Sehr geehrte Damen und Herren, Dear ladies and gentlemen, Dear freedom fighters who are, who are attempting human, who are trying to achieve freedom and unity for Iran. It's an honor for me to speak for you on this occasion. Since the uprising and the protests began in Iran, who have been facing a crackdown inside the country, it, there has been happening a lot of things. More than hundreds of people have been killed. Where there have been also very minor people involved. Thousands of people have been arrested. Many of the arrestees have been tortured when the, behind bars. Striving for freedom among the Iranian people has been cracked down fiercely. Human rights abuses have been the order of the day in Iran. The revolution in Iran is, has been already in full force. There is a lot of hope and a, and a, a, and a bright future on the horizon to achieve the liberty in this country and to end dictatorship. We are declaring our solidarity with the people in Iran. We can feel and we can sense empathy with you, with those who are who are losing their children, their their parents on a daily basis. We also are compassionate with the people who have who who, who are with, with us, those who have loved ones inside Iran who have been suffering for all these years, who are women are forced to to have to wear the hijab. Women are courageously setting forth who are struggling to achieve the rights who are fighting the dictatorship and corruption across all political stripes. Also, who, also who want to set themselves, who want to struggle for a clear milieu. Perhaps people are dying for achieve what we have here. Who set the death penalty is on a daily basis executed in Iran's prisons. In the 21st century, these are things that are happening occasionally in this country. In Germany, we are free to wear what we like and express ourselves how we please. This should be a decision for everyone to make themselves. Wearing a, very, a hijab is one's choice. And I have to thank you very from the bottom of my heart for what you're doing. But it's, it's not all about wearing hijab. It's, it's much more. The duty to wear hijab or veiling is just one example and one symbol of the freedom that the people are deprived of. It's a system that is enforcing its rule, its fierce rule on the people into the smallest nuances and details on people's lives. There is no rule of law. There is no sovereignty on the on the behalf of the people. We are fighting for a secular regime who is separating. Only a secular regime can put forward, forward these principles. The demonstrators in Iran are defending those values that we have, that we are valuing here in Germany. Many executions have been enforced in, inside Iran. We are responsible 
to guide the politics and the policies of the German government and do everything so that people inside Iran and the human rights will be defended inside the inside Iran and safeguarded against the regime. That means a clear foreign affairs policy that helps that helps the infrastructure of human rights inside the country. We also need to highlight and emphasize that human rights need to be prior prioritized. The Iranians wish to have a plural, pluralistic and secular republic where the voice and decision of every citizen is counting. A society that everyone can take part in, and a society that every person, people have the freedom of choice of their religion. We support the wish to the end of the dictatorship. Freedom is nor Western, either Eastern. It is rather universal. 